among those school manager, I mean, among the situation, apart from the situation, there was also a guy uh, who was like the big boy in town. We don't we really know, I mean, people knew, I mean, for fact, I remember people were talking about him every time. His name was like, his name, we call it Fantomas. Fantomas is everywhere. People were scared of him. Like, if they were, people were scared of this guy, like scared. Um, he was doing some activity that wasn't good. Obviously, he was a high school dropout. He was really early in his early 20s. He, he dropped out of school a long time. He was doing, he was like a stuntman, like on the bus. He would do some stuff like on the bus, bus driving. And young guys who were like him, who had the same situation of trying to you know, show that they were the big boy in town, were doing stuff like him. They were dying. He wasn't dying. He both thought, that, oh, he cannot die. So maybe he has some superpower because he wasn't dying. And he even say. Uh, that he found it excited, exciting to just jump everywhere, you know, doing the stuff. He was also known to be like, he was trying to be like the, like, uh, like a justice person, like, you know, I mean, he was fighting all this stuff and he became like, uh, people were scared of him. At some point, I mean, it was scary because there were so many things happening. There were gangs in town and all, all this happening at the same time. So, Fantomas was accused of some crimes. They say he committed crimes of this and that. And for some reason, all this accusation came like, like a lot. And Fantomas said, hmm. I didn't commit all these crimes that you're accusing me of. I mean, yeah, I'm like, I'm a gangster, yeah, but accusing me like I did all these crimes that you're accusing me of, I don't, hmm, I don't know that. But I will tell you something, the activities that are happening in town are not a coincidence. People are behind these gangs all over town. And he even say allegedly, uh, allegedly, uh, he will say, because I have to be clear on that, allegedly, that he was even the, the star of this political party. People like him a lot, a gangster, mm -hmm. being liked by political party. Now, interesting, right? And he even say, he even added, allegedly, that he was even welcomed by the president of the country at the time, who gave him money and congratulated him on his activity in town. Against the activity, congratulate. You know, I say allegedly. So, Manhattan stopped, no, I mean, uh, the government, like the authorities started manhunt on him, like manhunt. They were hunting him, like you have. Too, because he became like, a, especially when he said, I need a public power platform where I can tell the real the side of my story and what is really happening. When he starts saying that people, like the heads, all this great figure, you know, of this political party were doing such and such. He said, give me an opportunity I can explain everything. I have proof for what I say. And then it was like, mm, no way, you cannot talk here. Sorry. They been, he was now hunt, hunt like crazy. And he challenged, he defied, he challenged the, 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 the power in place, like police, nothing. He was hiding. They even caught his son. So he could, you know, surrender. He said, I'm not going to surrender. Give me a chance to talk. He became now less and less. He became like a, a parasite. People didn't want to be. The same people were acclaiming him, acclaiming, no, praising him for whatever he was doing in town. Now start to, you know, and Thomas had no other choice than disappear from Libreville. 
and they were still searching for him, like tracking, like you know, hunting him. Media cover, headlines, well, no, no, they are looking for her, for him. He succeeded by escaping the profile, and according to the story, was the fact he was hiding in a in a little town, rural place. Uh, his native, probably his native town, uh, in the north side of Gabon. Then uh, Fantomas uh, was there, he was probably trying to start a new life because it was really not good for him anymore. But then the, the way they were media, the media, the media ties, I don't know, they searched the manhunt was so overwhelming that the uncle, whoever his uncle was, like say, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to him. I'm, I'm gonna give him to the authorities. And what happened? He told them where he was, obviously, and they got him there in this little city. They beat him. They, they really beat him seriously, like torturing, beating him. They made him naked. They humiliate him. They put him naked in front of the people to see. They powered him naked in uh, in the back of a pickup truck so people would see him naked and bloody. It was a statement, clearly, that if you try to challenge this power, you will see what's going to happen to you. You want to challenge? He will show you. You, go, you want to be the big boy? We're going to show you. And I think that's what happened to him. Then they transfer him. They put the flight, first flight, they transfer him to Libovia. And then big headlines on newspaper, he was cut. He kept accusing him. He said, I didn't commit those crimes that you're accusing me. Let me talk. Never. And they torture him, torture him. He became very like skinny of pain and torture. And then, uh, he had no other choice and say, okay, I agree. I did it. But a few days later, he died. It's quite interesting to see that the way the situation happened and how fast, you know, the guy had to die. I mean, what is it? All this allegation that he was saying and all this of what he was accused. It's difficult to tell, but that was the story of Fantomas. But then what happened during this time was the Kumanjers, this movement, people have never forgotten about that. And in my neighborhood, there was a guy that we used to call, he has a name, I won't give a name here, I will call him Hockey. Hockey had a physical disability, and I remember people were always saying that, no, Hockey, He's a chief of a gang. You know, he was, he was a head of a gang. My mom was like, it's impossible. How can he had the physical disability? How come, you know, everybody knew him in my neighborhood. Everybody knew him. And yeah, he was physically disabled. But when people were saying that, people like my mother, for example, didn't believe, which was, we don't know because people kept saying the same thing over and over. Okay, I'll go to the next video.